Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg. It's Basic Sorgonomics for this, uh, what is it, May 6th, 2015. And uh, we're going to have some fun here. Uh, this is, uh, of course, Sorgatron.com. Please subscribe to the Creator's Newsletter. I, I, I kick out a newsletter uh, every Friday and plus some other updates throughout the week to tell you what's going on in the podcast network. And uh, again, a little more kind of aimed at uh, you people out there making things. Um, you know, what are you guys doing with social media, with video, everything like that. And that's a lot of what this podcast is about, this show is about. I don't know if I want to call them podcasts anymore because we're on youtube we're on daily motion we're on all these other places and uh it's really whatever it is it's a, it's a show it, it, let's just let's just break it down it is a show and uh maybe we'll have a whole other show about why should we not call things podcasts anymore i should put that in my notes but anyways um yeah so today i wanted to talk about making video what that's a new topic for you but no um you know I had an event uh, last last Thursday um, up at Fresh from the Farm Juices, which is this great place. They're doing raw juices, and and I guess the Steelers and the Penguins come in there. It's up in Wexford, uh, PA. If you're in the area, please go check them out. They're really cool dudes. Uh, uh, Anka, who we did the video with, he's really awesome, and uh, you know, it got really good vibes from the place and everything. And so we uh, had this concept that we we're trying to do. We had so much success. So many people popped in for the. Uh, um, uh, how to how to podcast for practitioners where we really actually and this kind of leads to that podcasting discussion we really talked about uh, Google Hangout for the most part and it was and it was really really well received and met a lot of great people and uh, we wanted to try to do some you know keep keep it going keep it fresh and do something different and uh, you know and, and 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 tried this so the idea was I wanted to show people how they can make a video with very little basically. I brought in my, I have an iPhone 5S, which is, you know, uh, two iPhones ago, and, you know, show, saying, you know, you could use a 4S, to be quite honest, uh, or whatever you have on hand, some people there with Android phones, and, you know, video is going to vary from phone to phone, and uh, and, and, and we, we did a how-to video on how to make a certain uh, dip, you know, with a lot of raw foods, vegetables, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, veggies, you know, and just a little bit of ingredients to make something really, really cool. And uh, and it was great. We we're doing some great stuff, and uh, I, I filmed some stuff. Started a little bit of an intro. We filmed this five-minute piece, and then my phone crashed. This was a new experience for me, and rather embarrassing. But it, it kind of, uh, you know, as with anything, I kind of try to turn something like that into a teaching moment, right? You know, a, you know, hey, things are going to go wrong. This will this will happen. This will certainly happen to you as you're uh, uh, developing stuff, as you're making things. Uh, in this case, so apparently, and I don't know something with my my phone update, but uh, I hit the five and a half minutes that we record our thing, and I went to you know I hit the record button again to make it stop, and it wouldn't. I left the app, came back, left the app, came back. I was at about eleven minutes, still nothing, still nothing. And, you know, you need to stop it so it can do whatever function to save that data in a form that is a file on your phone. So, there's the very embarrassing, excuse me, can we do that again? And, of course, he had done the thing, you know, with the blender and made everything. So, we just kind of converted it a little bit. And we actually kind of just, we, we just adapted for this thing. And uh, we had them uh, set back up, at least with the ingredients, with the finalized dip, and just kind of set it up, kind of like, kind of like you would if you, you know, pulled the cookies out of the oven when you when you're done showing off the ingredients, and uh, and it worked out really well. And uh, you know, it, it's just me with an iPhone. I'm actually using a GorillaPod just to give myself a little, you know, something more to grab onto to keep it a little steadier. And uh, it, it's just a small, small gorilla pod. I'm just kind of moving around stuff as they talk about it. And we edited it together. And, and one thing I tried to do, you know, we learned from it. Okay, we lost a five-minute piece because something crashed. So we cut it down to minute, minute and a half pieces. So I could jump in there and kind of edit it together. And if anything were to crash, we lost the last minute and a half of what we did and not an entire five minutes, which is a pretty good, you know, if that is a concern, if that is something you got zapped with before uh, about losing like your giant chunk of material, uh, you know, break it down. You know, this is this is something this is the, the, the second time in the same week where I had somebody else come to me. They're working on a new project. Um, and they said they said they said, Sorg, you know, everything's gone. I'm like, what are you talking about? You know, he's like, I did this thing. It was like a half an hour. It's gone. And I was like, that's all right. You're starting to do this. This thing, this stuff happens. 
learn it now. This stuff happens. I've had entire hour shows I've done with people that have disappeared. That's why when I'm doing my Tuesday night shows that are the longest, I'm recording there in Wirecast. I have an audio feed recording on this computer up here. Plus, I'm streaming to YouTube. And there's a few times where I've had to go to the YouTube feed and bring that down and work that into the final of the show for that week. It's not HD, looks pretty decent, audio's pretty decent, and uh, I, I'm able to splice that in or make that the show. Ideally, in my mind, I'm gonna have something local here as well that this is also gonna record to that's not the same computer that's broadcasting, that's not doing all the wirecasty things. So that's after years of how much material I've lost or put out that was a bad, a bad form. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, that's 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 years of, of, of working out those problems and saying that is never going to happen again. You know, kind of a fool me twice, uh, uh, you know, fool me twice kind of a mindset there. Right. You know, it, it, to point where, you know, when I've talked about before, when I'm doing the wrestling shows, you know, it's recording to my computer, all that stuff that I'm live switching. Right. But I also have that camera in between that is uh, working as a VCR basically and capturing that stream as well. So if something happens to my computer, it crashes, something bad happens, you know, it's still recording at that other place. If you're depending on one source, it's just like backup. If you're depending on one source for your recording, something can go wrong. Oh, that didn't save. Oh, something happened. Oh, Audacity crashed, you know, uh, and, and that's it. It's gone. Poof. It's like it never existed. So do you have something else? Maybe if you're recording Audacity here, you set down your iPhone with a, uh, with your uh, voice recorder going. And you have that recording going as well. So they lost it, but it was such good material. Well, we can do this and have an apology on the beginning of the show, say, hey, something went wrong, but we did get the recording. It was some magical stuff. You guys should listen anyways. We cleaned it up as best as we could. You know, I mean, that's that's what you can do, you know. And this is another thing, like we did this video and it was uh, uh, kind of goes back to, you know, what we talked about, you know, uh, you know, wasn't perfect. It by no means is not a professional crazy video, but it was, you know, I think a well enough done video that if you come to it, nobody's going to shy away if they find it on YouTube. And it demonstrates this place, demonstrates your personality as a business for this fresh for the farm juices. And now he has a video they can put on his website that shows people, what, hey, who is this person that I'm going to walk into, you know, uh, walk in and talk to, you know, what? It, is this a, oh, he seems like a cool dude. I'd buy juice from that guy. You know, it, it really is. It, 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 it's like the, the Gary Vaynerchuk con concept from uh, um, the new, how was it? New economy, new something economy. Uh, the the se his second of his books. You know, it's the, you know, hey, the internet has shrunk us. It's back to the era of the old towns where we knew the baker and everything. Um, we knew the butcher. And now I know the juice guy in Wexford because I watch his video online and I'm like, it seems like a cold dude. You know, that's the philosophy we use for Seclair. We're getting these people on camera talking about the philosophies and, and the things that they deal with there at Seclair. And uh, that helps and, and you don't know how many people come in. It's like, I saw your YouTube videos, you know? They're getting already comfortable with their doctors and, 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 and advisors and counselors that they're gonna be working with to solve whatever their problem is. And they haven't even set foot inside that door, but they're ready for that. More, they're more prepared for it. Uh, you know, um, you're going to have your preconceived notions when when you go into a place. Maybe you've heard of a place. Maybe you see the name of the doctor, and uh, you have this idea in your head. And maybe that's something. That's another barrier that's going to keep you from going in. Indie wrestling is a perfect example. There was uh, the only reason I went to an indie wrestling show was I saw some of it on TV. And I had an idea what I was getting into, you know, and the times that I didn't know what I was getting into, hey, come out, come, come down and help out this one group down here. And I'm like, okay, I've never heard of them. They had a horrible website and I show up and it was a horrible, horrible show. And that's the thing. And that's the thing that's going to scare people away. And that's the situation people are worried about when they walk into a fresh from the farm juices, when they walk into their first appointment at Seclair Behavioral Therapy, you know, it's, 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 it, you know, if you close that barrier, and sometimes people try to do this with commercials, but I think you do a much better job if you have a YouTube video on your website, people are going to look on you, look for you on the web anyways, right? And uh, if you have that introduction, you know, uh, this podcast, this show, if we'll just call it that, is me helping you get to know me 
So you know what you're getting into if you call me up and say, hey, I want to do this video. Hey, I want to do this website. Hey, I want to do a social media thing. You know, this is my kind of greeting card to potential clients, friends, colleagues, uh, uh, people, people to collaborate with in general. You know, you get to see what I'm about and some of my thought process. And, uh, and I think that's really, really important. So let me know your thoughts. Uh, check out the video. I'll link it on the blog post and in the notes here. Uh, wherever you're finding the video, there'll be a YouTube link uh, to go check it out. And it's uh, fresh from the farm juices. And if you actually go to the YouTube channel, go to journaloflifestylemedicine.com and hit their YouTube link, uh, you can also find the video off of there. And uh, I, I haven't received it yet, but I think we're going to put, unless Fen has done it when, when I wasn't looking, um, I think we're going to put the, uh, where's the thing at? We're going to put the recipe for the dip in there as well. Um, and that's another side of it. Now you can say how to make uh, whatever quinoa dip it, that it was. And now if somebody heard of this quinoa dip and you and, and that's what they're going to search for is how to make quinoa dip. And now Ankit and Fresh from Farm Juices is something that's going to pop up as well. So I think that's another important factor to that. So... Um, so with that, let me know what you think of that. What do you think of the video? What do you, what do you think of the video we did? And, uh, you know, the possibilities of anything that, you know, again, I'm trying to show you guys. You can just pick up that thing that you have. If you're listening to this, you probably have an iPhone or an Android device. You probably have a webcam at the very least in your laptop, maybe. You can do something with that. Anything with that. Um, so let me know what you think. Comments, wherever you're finding this video or audio version. And we'll see you guys next time at Sorgatron on the Twitter as well. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.